Eric Peloso, born in Calgary, raised in Vancouver. I'm a professional photographer and co-founder and brand director for a company called Street Dreams Magazine. The first time I came across photography was early on in high school. I used to skateboard a lot. There was one summer in particular when I got on a board, twisted my ankle, sat down on a bench and came across a Canon AE-1 sitting, sitting beside me. I picked it up and instantly started taking pictures. It was one of my friends at the time. From that moment on, I knew that I would eventually follow the path of photography. After high school, I went into film for a while, so I was a production assistant. That kind of led me into leaving creativity behind a little bit, and I fell into a regular nine to five job. Through that process, really understood that I needed to get back on sort of the path that I felt was proper for me. So I left everything behind, went back to school for photography in 2013, and have been shooting professionally ever since. Around the same time in 2014, we started a magazine called Street Dreams. The inspiration behind that was really trying to, you know, giving people a chance to get their work seen. What we did with the magazine has really brought us to the level now where we've taken it from a print publication, digital community, now into a fully fledged uh, media agency. I really feel like photography is a very personal craft where if you connect with people based on their imagery, you're really seeing a lot of what they have inside. And I think that that's the personal approach that I take with my photography as well. My personal style is really based on trying to make ordinary moments extraordinary. I really love the moments where you're alone and there's no bells and whistles around you. It's not always like a movie scene all the time. There's these very introspective times, whether it be a person just standing on the corner with their back towards me, maybe talking on their phone. Those are the kind of in-between things that I feel like I lead myself into. I take a lot of the street photography vibe into my commercial work or even just personal projects with my portraits. I, I love still shooting on the streets and finding environments that are indicative of the space and has the vibe that really captures the hustle and bustle of the city. I think that that's why I gravitate towards street photography the most. I try to shoot like a film photographer where I try to shoot with smaller SD cards so that I don't have a thousand shots, for example. I try to really focus in and, and, and try to make sure that every frame that I shoot counts. The gear that I'm using currently is a Fuji X-T1. The, my go-to lens is a 35mm 1.4. For me, the Fuji processing of the images really resonates to my analog side and sort of like the deep colors and whatnot. It feels like you're using a film camera. One specific image comes to mind, which is an image that I took in New York. It was a, a portrait of deep sweatpants. There was this crazy light streak that almost looked like a smoke stream. It was bouncing off from a glass building that was adjacent to this wall. And the light basically showed up the instant that we got there. So that's one of the ones that I think really is very indicative of my, of my style as a photographer. What's next for me personally as a photographer is to continue to get better at what I do. I want to be able to build a body of work that I could eventually share with my family at this point. I think it's very important for us to keep the narrative going, whether that's an individual narrative, whether that's a collective narrative. I think the coolest part of what we've been able to do with Street Dreams is offer ourselves opportunity. Since 2014, it's grown leaps and bounds from being a print publication to now again being a media agency that's being able to connect with really cool brands uh, to tell their stories now. We're very humbled to be in the position where we are right now to have a voice and we're going to keep using that voice to speak for creatives everywhere. So I think that that's what it's all about. Just keep growing this network and a platform to allow as many people to work with us and, and connect with us as we can.